We're going into um, Protect Gate. Enter Gate. Maybe that says Center Gate. And it's freaking Lennon. Or someone. He's got an awesome beard, though. I don't think Lennon had an awesome beard, but I could be wrong. Peripheral security forces have been breached. Brain defense is activated. Oh no! It's the same klaxon in every single Nintendo game. Attention, intruder. You are instructed to cease current activity. Further action will prove fatal. Oh no! Why would a robotic security system, like, threaten you? That's stupid. Anyway. And I'm only, like, 60% sure we're human. With the whole suit thingy, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be, like, part robot or something. Though only a human could have that epic of a flat top, so I suppose there's that. Unless there's some sort of amazingly advanced flat top technology. But even in this advanced future, I'm not sure computers will advance that far. Robot frogs, on the other hand, are quite simple. They're also amazingly pointless. Hey, die. Thank you. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way, so... I will probably get lost in this level, because I've gotten lost in the last, like, several. I'm currently putting off a paper that I'm going to hate writing. And the thing is, if I just use the provided course material to write the paper that he surely wants me to write, this would probably be really easy, and I'm sure I would get an A because most of the rest of the class is for freshmen, and not to brag, but I'm generally a pretty good writer, so I doubt I'd have any problem, but I don't want to write the paper that he explicitly wants me to write, and I don't care for the many of the papers that he's presented. Some of them are important stuff by Pavlov and... Oh god, what was the... There's the thing from Darwin's Dangerous Idea. Except for Pete's sake, I'm tired of learning about evolution in every other damn psychology course. I haven't happened... I haven't had it happen since I started taking upper-level psych courses. But this is not an upper-level psych course. I've already ranted about that, though. Anyway, I'm supposed to discuss computational and animal modeling, and... Oops. Since he's a behaviorist, I know I'm just supposed to fawn over animal modeling and say that computational modeling is Satan on Earth, and... Every time you use a computer to model behavior, Satan eats 16 babies, but I'm not going to do that. All of the course material he provided on computational modeling, like, it, one day we discussed the Turing test, only for the purpose of saying, oh, ha-ha, computers can't emulate humans, yeah. And that was the only, that was like slightly informative, if you had never heard of Turing before, which everyone in the class should have, but... Anyway, all of the course material on... Okay, that did nothing. All of the course material on c computational modeling is just basically saying, Oh, computers can't do this, computers can't do this, blah blah blah. Computers don't do stuff. And very, very little describes, you know, the hundreds of... or thousands of applications of computational modeling, and... The hundreds of experiments will... Not sure if you'd call it an experiment. The tons of predictive models of human behavior, animal behavior, based on computer algorithms, and all of the awesome stuff. And this is quite the same, but there have been some awesome applications of data collected from social media lately. Like, they used the, uh, there's this algorithm that determines basically the mood content of words. And they analyze all of the words and tweets over a given period, and you can determine the average mood of people in a given area by their tweets. And then, so there was this mood map of the U.S., basically, that showed the mood changing over time. It was pretty neat. And then, more recently, 
they actually put that to use to... They indexed the mood versus the stock market, and they found that... I would at least assume a happy mood correlated really well with future, you know, increases in the stock market. I don't have the article in front of me. I have the game in front of me, which I'm not talking about, but it was just really cool that Twitter predicts the stock market, like, a couple of days in advance, I think it was. Not just, like, the immediate day. You could actually, like, say when a slight bearish or bullish trend is starting. Oh. That was some hard- that was some classic Mega Man stuff right there. Anyway, there was also a... something about Facebook on... You know, this seems pretty logical, but... It's just that... Oh, I think this is one way, or... Oh, no, it's not. They just measured... Oh, I'm out of life. Health button. Go. They checked how many likes a given candidate has on their user page versus their opponent. And they see who won or not. And it was 74% accurate, just only going on that. Oh, hey, we don't need a keycard. This is the final boss. Holy crap, it's freaking... I don't... Ow. Oh, I need a health button again? I guess I may as well use these. Even though they don't do anything, apparently. But, you know, it makes sense that more people would like a candidate, even though it's liking on Facebook, not like... Well, I guess it is sort of an, a way to view how many people do actually like a candidate, because... An insane amount of people use Facebook. 500 unique users a month, I believe it is, up to. You know, a fair amount of the voting public do use it. In fact, I saw numbers on that. Um, at least 12 million people in the U.S. voted on November 2nd and reported that on Facebook. I hope this guy has a second form or something. He's like a joke. And he always appears right over you. Yep, he's Dr. Wily. He's got multiple forms. He's a giant TV now. With the sphincter valve here. <laughs> Why did I walk right into that fire? Health button! I love you, health button. Never change. I think I've said that before. Nose! Thank you, turbo button. You're a true friend. Well... You know, I could have killed it if I had just taken the hit that I was taking anyway. Final boss? Like, actual final boss time yet? Get We won? Wow. I talked about the game for like 30 seconds there. The rest was ranting, but... I think I warned you about that. If I didn't, I meant to. Now we must rebuild. But this time... We will be more careful and not surrender control to a machine. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. Oh, no, the science is going to do things like feed us and make us smarter. We should fear technology. I hate people sometimes. Anyway, we're apparently in Paris. There's like some sort of Eiffel Tower slash spaceship in the background. I think that's pretty much it. It's a pretty good game for the NES. And just check out that flat top, man. That is a true American hero there. And that's all I have to say about that.